This is Guram and Ruki. Guram spent all his gold on best and slot gear, while Ruki spent all of her gold on the latest housing project. Now both are out of gold. Sound familiar? Well, you may be richer than you think. I'm Benevolent Bodhi, and I'm here to help. In this ESO guide, we're going to take a look at some veteran tricks to convert some unexpected items into gold. The first method involves crown mimic stones. Most players will get these from daily login rewards or from opening crown crates. Crown mimic stones can be substituted into the item crafting process without the need of the required style item. Crown mimic stones are bound to your account and thus cannot be sold directly. However, you can convert these items into tradable items for sale. Note, crown mimic stones obtained from crown crates can be converted into valuable crown gems that can be used to buy very exclusive items from the crown store. The crown mimic stones from the daily rewards cannot. Here's how it works. Note in this video I am demonstrating the keyboard and gamepad versions. Please use the video markers at the bottom of the video to skip the content you're not interested in. You go to the crafting station and create the item in the style that you're interested in. The best items to make are those with expensive style items used in housing. In this example I'm going to farm Kulanda Lucker. Before clicking the craft button make sure you have checked the crown mimic stone box. Save time by crafting multiple items. Note, if you do not see the style that you want listed, it means you have not learned at least one motif chapter of the style you want to make. Next, we deconstruct the items that we just made. You can choose to deconstruct the items individually or as a group. Some people like to divide their RNG risk over several items instead of just one click. All right, here's the moment of truth. In this test, we got 16 out of 20. That's not bad. Now let's repeat that, but with the gamepad UI. You go to the crafting station and create the item in the style that you're interested in. The best items to make are those with expensive style items used in housing. In this example, I'm going to farm Kulanda Lucker. To toggle crown mimic stones, you need to select the style name and click the option in the green circle on the menu. In this demo, that's the A button. Save time by crafting multiple items. Note, if you do not see the style that you want listed, it means you have not learned at least one motif chapter of the style you want to make. Next, we deconstruct the items that we just made. You can choose to deconstruct the items individually or as a group. Some people like to divide their RNG risk over several items instead of just one click. All right, here's the moment of truth. In this test, we got 16 out of 20. That's not bad. In these two examples, we converted 40 crown mimic gems to 32 calendar lacquer worth approximately, at the time of this video, 64,000 gold. The second method we are going to look at is converting transmutation crystals to gold. Transmutation crystals are earned by completing various in-game activities and sometimes they're found in special event reward boxes. This screenshot from the unofficial Elder Scrolls Pages.net website shows you a table all the sources of transmutation crystals. If you do not have ESO Plus and your inventory is starting to fill up with transmutation crystal geodes, why not convert them to gold? Before you can use this method, you will need to have a character that has researched the Nernhold trait on at least one weapon. Note, transmutation crystals are also used to recreate items from your sticker book or item collection. You might want to save some. The first step is to craft several weapons without traits and then visit a transmutation station. A free transmutation station is found in the Brass Fortress of the Clockwork City DLC. If you don't have that DLC or ESO Plus, then they can be found in guild halls or on the traders for sale by other players. If you have a crafter earning crafting rent vouchers, they can purchase the transmutation from Master Crafter Rawless in the capital cities of Mornhold, Wayrest, and Elden Root. If you have the crowns, you can also purchase a transmutation from the crown store. 
Here is the method in action, first on keyboard UI and then the gamepad UI. After crafting the desired number of items, you visit a transportation station. You select transmute from the options. Then you select the item and trait desired. In this example, we are switching the items to Nernhone. Repeat the process until you're done. Note it costs 50 transmutation crystals to do this conversion. In the interest of time, I've sped up this portion of the video. After crafting the desired number of items, you visit a transportation station. You select transmute from the options. Then you select the item and trait desired. In this example, we are switching the items to Nernhone. Repeat the process until you're done. Note it costs 50 transmutation crystals to do this conversion. Here are the results of our conversion of 500 transmutation crystals to potent known crux. From deconstruction, we obtain nine potent Nern crux. The approximate value of these items at the time this video was made was 225,000 gold. In summary, today we learned how to earn gold from items that we get from everyday activities, daily login rewards, and crown crates. The first method we looked at turned crown mimic stones into gold by making items for deconstruction to extract the valuable style materials used in housing. The second method we learned, we converted transmutation crystals into gold by crafting weapons and then transmuting their trait to Nernhone. The retraded items were then deconstructed to extract the valuable Nerncrux items for sale. I hope that I've shown you a new method to make some gold in the Elder Scrolls Online. Thanks for watching! If you didn't take notes, you'll find a link to the written guide on my website at benevolentbody.ca down below in the description. What did you think of the video? Did you smash the like button or post your comments below? Until next time, take care and keep playing video games.